from the game unretiring an iconic WWE Championship to the new belt rocking the foundation of wrestling. Triple H is bringing back WWE's World Heavyweight Championship, and it looks like the two championship era for the brand is here again. Now, Triple H has been talking about making some big changes to WWE over the past few months. And well, he finally announced his plans during a recent Monday Night Raw. Speaking at the event, he talked about how the WWE needs two top champions, which is why he's unretiring from the World Heavyweight Championship. The WWE's chief content officer also said that this title will be defended anytime, any place, and all over the world meaning it's not just tied to Raw or SmackDown anymore. Instead, the championship will travel between brands depending on where the holder goes. I mean, that's also the case for the existing WWE Universal Championship, as it can hop between Raw and SmackDown depending on where Roman Reigns is drafted. So technically, we could have a scenario where either one of the brands have two top championships in it at the same time. Of course, everyone remembers the OG Big Gold Belt, which served as the heavyweight championship for a little over a decade from 2002 to 2013. And this one's going to be very similar in terms of its nature. Design-wise, however, it's going to combine elements from the old belt and the newer logo-heavy approach that the WWE has taken with some of its newer titles. So you've still got all the intricate golden carvings around it, except that there's a dark WWE logo in the middle. But while I'm sure most people would be happy with the proposed changes, why does WWE even need two top champions? I mean, is Roman Reigns not enough anymore? Especially considering how he's the undisputed Universal Champion and is technically already in possession of two titles, the WWE Universal Championship and the WWE Championship. Well, you see, Roman Reigns has been the top dog in the company for almost a thousand days now meaning his championship hasn't changed hands in three years. What's more, since he's a unified champion, separating the two titles would be a bit tricky as well, because the majority of his title defenses have been for the undisputed belt. And well, speaking of title defenses, those have been few and far between as well. In fact, Triple H echoed these thoughts in his announcement as well, saying that while the unified title is great for Roman Reigns, it's not great for the WWE. He mentioned how the WWE deserves more, and of course, how the fans deserve more. After all, there were a lot more title challenges back in the day. But obviously, you can't blame the Tribal Chief for it either. Because according to Triple H, it's just the nature of his unified championship that has led to this lack of title defense matches. Now, if you didn't already know, Roman Reigns wasn't tied to either Raw or SmackDown for a long time, since he's technically got the title from both brands. However, the latest WWE draft has changed that, and now the 38-year-old has taken his title to SmackDown. That said, this has left an opening at Raw, right? Since there's no world champion in the brand anymore. Well, that's where the new World Heavyweight Championship comes into play. Yep, this was exactly what Triple H was talking about when he said that the new draft would change WWE at its very core. Because now that the Tribal Chief has left for SmackDown with his undisputed WWE Universal Championship and isn't bouncing between the two promotions anymore, there's finally room to introduce another title and have a champion who stays at Raw. Well, that's the initial idea anyway. With that said, the process of determining a new champion isn't simple at all. You know why? Because the heavyweight champion will be crowned via a championship tournament. Oh, and get this. The tournament will span across both brands, which I know is confusing. After all, wasn't this just supposed to be a thing that was limited to Raw? Not to mention, the WWE draft has already happened. So will the new World Heavyweight Champion have to move back to Raw if he's been drafted to SmackDown? Well, sadly, there wasn't a question and answer portion for Triple H's press conference. He did, however, provide plenty of details about the format of the tournament. Speaking at the Backlash press conference, the game said that the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament will take place on the May 8th edition of Monday Night Raw. There will be two triple threat matches, with the winners from each match facing each other later that night to determine a winner from Raw. I mean, that's a pretty quick turnaround, and it's going to be fascinating to see if wrestlers are even fit enough to have another intense match on the same night. Now, this is where things get interesting because the winners from Raw and SmackDown will then face each other at the Night of Champions, 
which takes place on May 27th in Saudi Arabia. And this, folks, is where we'll finally get our new World Heavyweight Champion. With that said, there are still a lot of questions looming over this whole tournament, like the fact that the competitors haven't even been confirmed yet. I mean, there's already so much confusion over the whole SmackDown involvement, with fans questioning why wrestlers from the brand are competing when the title is meant to stay at Raw. Of course, the assumption is that the winner will automatically get drafted into Raw, but according to experts, the whole thing feels a bit rushed. For instance, even though Triple H announced the format a couple days before it starts, no one's sure who's about to take part. What's more, many people have gone as far as to say that the WWE screwed up by holding the draft before the tournament. After all, what's the point of the draft if you're gonna move people over regardless? Now, fans on social media have already started speculating about the potential contenders for the title. Though, the names being thrown around aren't exactly surprising with people rooting for recent title challengers like Cody Rhodes, Brock Lesnar, AJ Styles, and Seth Rollins. And honestly, at least one of these guys deserve to have a title belt around their waist. Having said that, even though this belt is being dubbed the New World Heavyweight Championship, the big gold belt actually has a pretty long history. Initially introduced in 2002, after Raw and SmackDown became two separate brands under the WWE umbrella due to the roster's expansion, the World Heavyweight title was meant to be one of the two big championships in the company. Now, much like this current iteration, that one also swapped between Raw and SmackDown, depending on how the draft went for its holder. And well, over the years, it's been donned by some truly iconic superstars. I mean, you can probably guess the first guy who carried the big gold belt, because he's the one reviving it. Yep, Triple H was the first World Heavyweight Champion, and he didn't even have to fight for it. After all, he was the number one contender for Brock Lesnar's WWE Undisputed Championship, which moved with him over to SmackDown. The game then went on to win the title five more times in his career. Of course, there were other superstars who carried the championship belt too including Batista, CM Punk, and Edge. The last guy to hold a big gold belt, however, was Randy Orton, who not only was the youngest heavyweight champ, but also won it four times in total. But after his match against WWE Champion John Cena at the TLC Tables, Ladders, and Chair pay-per-view in 2013, the Viper got a hold of both championship belts and decided to unify them under a single title called the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Although the name didn't stick for very long because it was kind of a mouthful, so it was later renamed the WWE Championship, and the heavyweight moniker was retired. With this latest revival, however, Triple H is hoping to rock the foundations of wrestling and bring WWE back to its glory days. After all, ever since Roman Reigns' win against Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania, fans have been rather disappointed. Sure, the storylines are still there for people to enjoy, but the stakes are just not high anymore. There's a serious lack of title matches in the WWE, and The Hunter hopes to fix this issue by introducing another championship. Now, not only will this allow the matchmakers to fit more title matches into the schedule, but it'll also open up the opportunity for Roman Reigns to defend his championship more. After all, everyone expects the undisputed part of his Universal Championship to go away after a World Heavyweight Champion is crowned, which, of course, will let more people be worthy enough to challenge for the Universal title. Oh, and yeah, this was also a much-needed change for the WWE, as the AEW Dynamite president Tony Khan is planning something big amidst their run of weak ratings. So, we are back in the iconic Monday Night Wars era where WCW and WWF were trading blows? Or has Triple H actually got the checkmate here? I guess only time will tell. And there you have it. From the new title rocking the foundation of wrestling, to the game unretiring an iconic WWE Championship. This was all for how Triple H is bringing back WWE's World Heavyweight Championship.